let me just tell you guys now you do not need to buy a vendor list that is just a way for other people to make money off of you because you don't want to use the brain that god gave you to search for your own vendor hey guys it's me and Ken. bounce that ass and drop that ass and pop it like a shootout i pull them panties down he's smiling like they bought the food out i hop up on their face and make my hips go like the luau i showed you i'm a gay about my new intro that i made and yes i am making intros now for people so if you want an intro made dm my business page at noise meeks if you need a logo or if you need business cards thank you guys if you need anything designed dm me i'm i do do websites but the only thing is that any website i make i have to make you through wix because that's the only website builder i'm comfortable using i know i can make a great website on wix i haven't really um i tried to use shopify to make a website and i really didn't like how it came out so i don't want to say i can make websites on shopify and they come out bad so if you need a website made on wix i'm the girl for you i got you so yeah i did a poll on my instagram page i'm gonna put the the thing there so y'all can see that i'm not lying i did a poll and i i said you guys want me to do get ready with me for school or how to start a lash business i'm still gonna do get ready with me for school because i like doing those videos i'm still gonna do one but i'm gonna just do this video first we're gonna pack orders and i'm gonna explain how to start a lash business so I have my notebook and this is basically um how i started my business like how i did everything is in this notebook like you don't need to get an expensive notebook you can get a notebook from walmart that's what i did and i just wrote down basically everything i needed to start a business how much it costs and stuff like that so how to start a lash business step one really is to make your name like know what you want to call your business and make sure it's a name that nobody else has because if you use a name that somebody already has then um they're gonna either sue you for it or you're not gonna get known from it because someone that's already famous has that name you know what i'm saying so okay lately i've seen a lot of people using the name bougie and there's already a bougie barbie and she's very known for selling lashes and lip gloss so if you come out naming yourself bougie chloe or something whenever people search bougie like on instagram she's gonna be the first person that pops up so people aren't gonna really scroll through all the bougies looking for your page so it's gonna cause you to lose customers i mean you could probably still get famous with the name but it would just take you a little bit longer because there's already somebody that's really famous with that name oops so try to find a name that nobody else has like for me my business is called Noyes Minx because there's no one else with that name and um, it's my first name so I was like let me use my name like how Kylie Jenner she does Kylie's cosmetics and she used her name so I was like let me use my name too so that's why I use my name but you can really use anything you want like if you want to call yourself yellow cosmetics or purple cosmetics you can do that you can literally name your business whatever you want just try to make sure that nobody has that name and if they do have that name they haven't trademarked it because if someone trademarks a name and you use it then they can sue you for it so you have to make sure that nobody else has the name that you're trying to use so it's just best if you find a name that nobody has because then you can't get sued for it another thing is that um you need to have a logo and also you have to make sure that nobody has the logo that you want to use because when when I was watching, I watched Bougie Barbie because she's like a really good inspiration. So I was watching her video and she was talking about how this girl basically stole her logo. And yes, you can get sued for using somebody's logo. You can get sued for using any type of logo. Like you can literally get sued if you use this, like this girl, she um, she tried to make um, lash cases out of like Sour Patch Kids and she used the Sour Patch Kid logo, but she named it Lash, lash Patch or something. And that's literally illegal. Like to use someone else's um someone else's logo in like as your logo is illegal. So you can't do that either. Guys, I'm uploading this video on my birthday. So I'm gonna be having a huge sale on my birthday. Everything's gonna be 50% off. So I'll put the flyer right here too. I just made that flyer. It was so cute. Even though my sister's a hater and she said the flyer was ugly, girl, I don't care because I think it's cute. So yeah, the flyer that's the flyer so january 25th guys everything will be on sale okay this is how it looks maybe i should add pink confetti so it can look i don't know it can look better than that see now we're talking white and pink yes ma'am 
I'm gonna put our new logo right here too because you know I'm rebranding. I told you guys I made a new logo. Website colors changed. Okay, so this is package number one. Okay, so yeah. Make sure you have a logo that nobody else has so you won't get in trouble for that either. And then the next thing you want to do is find your vendors. Let me just tell you guys now. You do not need to buy a vendor list. That is just a way for other people to make money off of you because you don't want to use the brain that God gave you to search for your own vendor. And it's better to look for your own vendor because somebody else's price range may not be what you can afford. Like, let's say there's like vendors that their lashes are $5 each and a bigger company can afford to buy $5 lashes. But the lashes I sell and the lashes that the bigger company sell is all the same lashes just from different people. Different people price their lashes differently. So if someone sells you a vendor list and their vendor is expensive, you're going to go out and spend way more money than you needed to spend because my vendor is not going to co cost the same as somebody else's vendor. Or it might, but you never know because you didn't research. Like you didn't do any research. You just bought a vendor list. So for, no, that's number one. They might sell you a list of vendors that's very expensive or they might sell you a list of vendors that are terrible and they're just going to tell you, oh my God, yeah, this is where I got my lashes from. Knowing like, damn well they didn't get the lashes from there. But how would you know? Because you didn't do any research. So it's best for you to just look for your vendor yourself. And all you have to do is go to alibaba.com and search up mink lashes. And there's going to be 15 million vendors. All you have to do is message them. I'm going to even put screenshots if I can find. Well, I didn't find my vendor on Alibaba, but I found my vendor on Instagram. But they have an Alibaba um, store too. I just didn't see them on Alibaba because there's like so many vendors. But I found mine on Instagram. So you can just, you just message them, hi, how much are your lashes? How much is your custom packaging? And you know, they tell you some vendors lashes are $2 and five cents per lash. Some vendors are $5 lashes. Like it all depends on your price range. And if you tell your vendor, Hey, I'm only, I'm trying to only spend $400. They're going to, they're going to do something for you. And you're going to be able to get what you want for $400. You just have to tell them, tell them your budget. So they won't try to be like, cause okay, this is the thing. Vendors will be like, they'll add some random ass prices to stuff. And they'll be like, oh yeah, the total is $500. And if you tell them, oh, I talked to this other vendor and they told me that I can get the same stuff for $400, they're going to be like, really? And they're going to lower their price for you. So I'm not really saying you should lie, but t telling them that you found another vendor that's offering the same thing for cheaper will make them lower their prices because they don't want to lose you as a customer. Like they want to sell their product to you. So if you tell them, that you have another vendor with a lower price for the same stuff, they will lower their prices for you. For example, I have my whole last book, y'all, when I was talking to vendor. Let me find the page. And I'm going to leave some vendors here. Like, I'm going to say some vendors' names. Not my vendors, but vendors that I got sample lashes from, and I know that they're good. I just personally, it wasn't the lash style I wanted. That's why I didn't go with them. But they are good vendors, so I am going to tell y'all some vendors here because i'm not about to charge off for some eyelash vendors we could all help each other so i'm gonna tell y'all some vendors so a vendor i talked to was called cover girl there is a vendor called cover girl lashes and i wanted to get 30 lashes and 30 boxes and they were trying to charge me 260 dollars which isn't a bad price but i guess it's because of the type of box i wanted so yeah and Another vendor I talked to, I don't even know how to say this. It was like, I'm gonna just skip that one because I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, some Alibaba vendors I talked to was Jessica J. Um, I don't I don't know if if you just search Jessica J if she's gonna pop up, but her vendor name was Jessica J, like on Alibaba. And hers was good. Hers was a hundred lashes and a hundred boxes for $400, which is not bad. It's just personally, I didn't want to start off with 100 because I was like, what if I don't sell it and I'm just have all these extra lashes. So I started off with 50 lashes, but you can get 100 lashes for $400, which is really not a bad price because I was going to get five styles and 100 boxes for $400, which is really good. So there's that vendor. And here's some WhatsApp vendors. I'm, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to just leave the names in the description so y'all can look. I don't know how you're going to find them, though, but there's a lot. These are a lot of vendors. I don't know. My handwriting is really ugly, so you're not going to be able to read it. But I'm going to leave them in the description box if anybody wants these vendors. They are very good vendors. I got samples from all these vendors, and their lashes are good. It's just they weren't the lash style that I wanted. Like The lashes I have are literally the styles that I like wanted. Like 
that these are the last styles I wanted. So that's why I got the vendor I have. I'm not telling you guys my vendor, but I would tell you other vendors. So don't ask me who my vendor is because the answer is hell no, okay? I'm not about to tell y'all because I worked hard to find my vendors. So why would I tell y'all who my vendor is? I'm just telling y'all other vendors that are good. So yeah, there's Vera Lashes. There was Lucy Yummy Lashes. And then there, there's a lot. Like I have a lot of vendors in this book. So I'm gonna just tell y'all them because I'm not a hater i'm not gonna like not let y'all succeed like i'm gonna help y'all out too and then see the lashes from my vendor it's funny because like i had so many names i wanted to name the lashes and then i picked the names i have but it's okay because my new my relaunch in march i'm having new lashes the only lash styles i'm keeping are dior and flirt passion is dying off because honestly i have a, like a lot of passions left like i haven't sold a lot of those lashes so it's like why would i restock the lash that's not selling as well like flirt and dior i literally have three of those lashes left like those are my best sellers so that's why i'm gonna i'm sorry i don't know why they're mowing the lawn still they've been mowing it since i went to my class at 10 a.m and it's almost three o'clock and they're still mowing the lawn and there's not even that much grass right here so i don't know exactly what they're mowing but we're just gonna wait because I doubt you guys can even hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I think it's less loud now. Okay, so yeah, find your vendor, don't pay for a vendor list, do your own research, and you'll find the vendor you want. The next thing you want to have a budget, like, don't let these because these vendors will literally try to make you pay more than you have to pay. So tell them your budget from the beginning and they're gonna work to try to get you in that budget. Another thing is boxes. These are my last boxes right now. These will not be my, my new last boxes. My new last boxes will be completely different than these. I honestly love this box to death because it's just, why? <laughs> I love this box to death because it just look, look how it reflects different colors. Like it's really cute to me. I love how I got silver inside. Let me take this out. The inside of my box is silver, so it sparkles. And please ignore my nails, like just ignore them. The inside of the box is silver, so it sparkles. And then I also got names for the um, the lashes. I um, I had to put these stickers in myself because my vendor wasn't gonna do it for me, but it's okay because she printed it out for me for free, so it doesn't matter. That's another thing. Talk to your vendors because vendors are really nice. Like, they will give you stuff for free. Like, my vendor gave me, like, 20 lash applicators for free. Like, all the lash applicators I've been selling, I didn't pay one penny for them. They gave it to me for free. These bags were for free. Like, only these bags because I got these from Amazon and the pink ones I got from Amazon. But the blue ones that came, if you watch my lash unboxing, these bags were free. Like, when you talk to your vendor, they will give you so much stuff for free. You just got to talk to them. Like, vendors are actually very nice when you get to know them like once you start talking to them you're gonna see like they will do so much stuff for you stuff you didn't you thought you was gonna have to pay for it they will not even charge you for it I'm, packaging oh my god where's okay yeah so back to packaging i'm sorry i'm like really sidetracked i'm gonna leave stick time stamps hopefully in the thing so y'all can just skip to the parts you want to hear or you can just watch me talk about a lot of stuff at once but yeah um lash packaging La I'm not gonna lie the packaging low-key costs more than the lashes the trick is to ask your vendor if they have boxes in stock meaning that they don't have to make the box for you like like these boxes was were already in stock that's why I got these boxes these were not the boxes I originally planned on getting but because they were in stock these were only a dollar each if I would have got the box that I wanted like for my business originally the box was two dollars and three cents for it to be made for me these boxes were already made, so they didn't have to do anything. All I had to do was mail it to me, and I, y'all watched me put the stickers on myself. So, you have to ask if they have boxes already in stock, because if the boxes, the boxes they usually already have in stock are cheaper than them making a box for you. You get what I'm saying? So, technically, I only paid $50 for boxes, because I only got 50 boxes, and I have 50 lashes, so I only paid $50 for boxes. But if I would have got the box that I wanted, like, originally, I would have to pay, like, $100, $150 for boxes, which would have been crazy because my total would have been way more. And I'm sure y'all want to know how much I spent in total. I only spent $226. I'm going to leave the Alibaba thing there. 
I only paid two hundred and twenty six dollars for all fifty of my lashes, fifty boxes, lash applicators, bags, everything for two hundred twenty six dollars. And it was a good price for me because um, my budget was three hundred. So the fact that I spent even less than what I plan on spending, it just made me love my vendor even more because like she was looking out for me. So you guys really just have to talk to your vendor because they will give you so much stuff for free. Stuff you didn't even know you can get for free, they're going to give it to you. So talking to your vendors and becoming friends with them really doesn't matter because I'm telling y'all, I ordered my lashes on the 1st, no, I think like the 3rd of October and they were here by the 6th. Like my lashes literally came in three days. Like that's how fast they shipped it to me. Like. Because me and my vendor were close. Like, I told y'all, I don't know if I told y'all this, but I basically wanted to start my business in the summer, but it took me a long time to, like, decide what I wanted, so I didn't buy anything till October. So from June to October, me and my vendor were talking. Like, we were close. Like, I messaged her every day about the last year, about new last year, about everything, just so I can be close to her. So I knew she was going to rush my order. Like, she wasn't going to waste time sending it to me. Like, she literally shipped my, like, the day I pressed pay she mailed my like i literally i can i'm not trying to find the screenshots for y'all as soon as i paid she sent me the the tracking number like immediately like that's how fast she was like with my stuff so it's like being friends with your vendor will definitely benefit you in the long run and talking to them definitely matters because there's like a not gonna lie there's like a lot of chinese holidays where they just disappear like right now the reason why my business is not like starting on till March, like my relaunch is not till March, is because right now they have some type of holiday and they've been gone since January 14th. They're not coming back till February 5th. I don't know what holiday is that long, but they have a Chinese holiday and it's very long. So talking to your vendors, don't don't just go on Alibaba, see lashes and click order. Like, girl, they're gonna mail you some stuff you didn't even know is what you order. So talking to the vendors, ensure that you're getting what you paid for. And yeah, like starting a last business is not as hard as people make it seem. It's 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 hard, but it's not impossible. Like, look, if I can do it, you can do it. And just don't pay for vendor lists. Like every time I see, like you know, people DM me asking me, like, am I selling my vendor? Do I have a vendor list? I'm just like, dude, uh, you guys, if you're this lazy, your your business is not gonna be successful. I'm sorry, but like, if you if you literally can't do research, how are you gonna be successful? Like. You're gonna you're gonna be that person that listens to anything anybody has to say and you won't go do your own research on it. So you will literally be paying more money for stuff you don't even have to pay for. Like you're paying fifty dollars for a vendor list. Then you still have to pay for the lashes too. Like it's not it's not worth it at all. Like just do your own research. It will benefit you in the long run. Like you don't wanna take other people's word for stuff. Like you wanna do your own research and make sure that, you know, whatever you're paying for is like the right thing. Like I'm telling y'all. Y'all gonna be hurt one day when you buy a vendor list and they sell you a bunch of crap and you just wasted $50 on something and then people will not give you a refund on vendor list. Like, I'm not saying everyone's vendor list are bad. It's just that you can't really take everyone's word for stuff because people are money hungry, so they will tell you anything just for your money. So it's like, it's better to do your own research because you won't lie to yourself. Like, you're not gonna tell yourself to buy something knowing it's gonna be bad, so... It's better to just do your own research because it's more likely that your outcome will be better. So, and I am doing wholesale lip scrubs because people have been DMing me asking me for wholesale lip scrubs. And I really didn't know like people were gonna want wholesale lip scrub. Like I just, I never thought I would be doing that. But yes, I will be doing wholesale lip scrubs. But yeah guys, I'm almost at a thousand followers on Instagram. I'm so excited. Like I cannot wait for my birthday. It's in like, what's today, the 23rd? It's in two days, like, I was really about to count, that's embarrassing. It's in two days, like, I can't wait. I hope you guys shop my birthday sale, because everything's 50% off. So, the lashes will be $4, lip gloss will be 50 cents, I think, because, no, lip gloss will be, will be a dollar, because they're $2 right now. Lip gloss will be a dollar, lashes will be $4, like, this is a great sale. Tell me all, my lip scrubs will be 50 cents, I think, because they're a dollar right now. Try to be 50 cents. Like, tell y'all, this birthday sale is a sale you don't want to miss. That's basically everything on how to start a lash business. Like, find a vendor, find, make a logo, find a business name, don't buy a vendor list, set a budget. That's really it. Like, it's it's not rocket science. Like, people trying to make it seem like it's really hard. It's really not. It's self explanatory. It's kind of just.
just start it like and make sure you, you plan everything like okay it's done oh my god i know all the stuff is gonna be moving around everywhere but yeah make sure you just plan it out like don't <clears throat> what did the other girl order she ordered oh someone did order passion would you look at that y'all i have so many passion lashes left passion lashes Passion is so cute. I don't know why people don't like it. Maybe because it's like really dramatic. That's why people aren't like used to dramatic lashes. But they're cute though. I wear them once in a while. Like when I'm going somewhere like very important, I wear it. But like Dior is my my go-to whenever I do my makeup. And Flirt is a lash I wear to class. Whenever I like, want to wear lashes to class. That's not right. Like. Oh, she gets a free lip gloss too. Because she ordered during the sale. Oh my god, I only have three left. Well, two. Because this girl's about to get one. My mom took one of these. She's like, this gloss is so cute. I'm like, girl, you have to pay for this. Okay, I'm just going to put another business card. I'm trying to get rid of my business card because I, I made new business cards too. I'm just going to send her three because she might... Somebody might tell her she looks cute and she has to give it to somebody else. So we're gonna cut. No, we're not. We're just gonna fold it. Packing slip because people sometimes forget what they ordered. I know people are gonna be confused. Like, girl, you were doing, you were talking and packing. Like, I'm sorry. I just thought it would be really boring if I just talked the whole time. So it's kind of why I decided to pack orders at the same time. Okay. Oh my god thumbnail oh wait let me put the the thing on here then we gonna make a thumbnail but yeah starting a business is easy if you want to know how to start a lip gloss business i guess i can make a video talking about that too it's really the same thing i'm lying starting a lip gloss business is way harder than starting a lash business i don't know why people don't understand that like a lip gloss business do you know how much stuff you have to buy just to make lip gloss like lashes is easy you just buy lashes boxes the end lip gloss you gotta find base you gotta find tubes you gotta get logos for the lip gloss tubes you have to get flavoring oils you have to get oil for it. you have to get like bowls spoons syringes like gloves like you gotta buy a lot of stuff to make lip gloss like i've been telling people if i knew what wholesale lip gloss was i uh, never mind i don't think i would still do wholesale lip gloss just because i kind of like making lip gloss lip gloss is like fun to make for me that's why i personally would always like to make my own lip gloss but if I was like a lazy person, I would have did wholesale and like bought my lip gloss from like Mocha or Bougie Barbie because I made my R.E.J. because her lip gloss is nice too. But like making lip gloss, it takes a long time because number one, you have to make sure that you get the same consistency each time because people are going to notice if they buy one lip gloss from you and it's like really shiny and the next lip gloss is not as shiny or like one lip gloss is thick and one lip gloss is watery, like you're going to lose customers because they're going to be like, your product is not consistent. Like... One lip gloss made my lips really glossy and the other one made my lips dry. Like, people are going to notice the difference. So, it's like, you literally have to have a recipe for lip gloss. Like, I have a whole recipe book, literally. To make sure that my lip gloss makes your lips look like this every time. Look at, just, uh, look at, look at the shine. Like, your lip gloss has to be consistent each time. So, if you know you are not a consistent person wholesale when you want to start a lip gloss line and if you know you don't have a lot of money to start a lip gloss line wholesale to start a lip gloss line because tell me y'all it is literally 13 times cheaper because wholesale lip gloss for a hundred for for my wholesale i'm gonna just leave my prices here if you are interested in it um i have five tube options too so like if you or if you have a lip gloss tube that you want your lip gloss in, you can also mail that to me and I will do the lip gloss for you. But if you want tubes, I do have five different tube options. So all that will be there. So you can just look through that. Also on the Instagram page. But like, what was I gonna say? Dang it. Wholesale, yeah. Wholesale is cheaper because you can get, I don't know my prices on the top of my head. Oh, my laptop's right here. I can just look on my website. So wholesale wand tubes, you can get 10 wand tubes from me for $35. Do you know how much it would cost you to make 10 wand tubes? Because first of all, 
you can't even buy 10 wand tubes like by itself like most vendors you have to buy at least 50 to 100 tubes the reason you can get 10 wand tubes for me is because i already have every tube like on hand like i've already bought all these tubes so that's the only reason you can get 10 for me but to physically go buy 10 wand tubes you can't do that because every vendor not i'm not gonna say every but most vendors they tell you that you have to buy at least 100 tubes which would already put you $150 down because you have to pay for shipping too. And they're shipping from China is like $25 or more. So you already got to pay that much for the tubes. Then you have to pay for the, the base. Gloss base is the five ounce bag from TKB Trading is $6. So now you're at, what's 150 plus six? 156. Now you're already $156 down the drain. Now you have to buy your flavoring oils, you have to buy pigments, you have to buy um, syringes, you have to buy pipettes, you have to buy bowls, you have to buy spoons and forks, you have to buy gloves, you have to buy all the oils you're going to use to make the lip gloss because lip gloss is not just base and pigment. You have to put oil for vitamin oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, or whatever oil you like, lavender oil, you have to buy all those oils. So now we're looking at mm, $250, even probably more, you're probably at $300 right now because one oil is literally six dollars like oil is not cheap like you're not supposed to use vegetable oil so it's not cheap oil is not cheap so it's like that's why i always say wholesale if you know you don't have a lot oh my god this video is long if you know you don't have a lot of money to start a business and you want to do lip gloss wholesale is the way because tell you you're gonna spend so much money that you didn't even know it was gonna cost you this much to make so wholesale is definitely best for lip gloss it all depends like on what your budget is to be honest if you're the type of person that has a million dollars to start a business then for by all means you know spend whatever money you like but if you're on a budget and you know that you're not trying to spend more money than you have to wholesale lip gloss is the way and finding your own vendor for lashes is definitely the way yeah that's basically how to start a lash business if you want more uses on how to start a gloss business i guess i can do that too um i basically explained everything about how i start a lash business it's really simple it's all about your work ethic Eth ethic Eth ethic i'm just gonna stop talking let me mark these orders as fulfilled so people can know their steps on the way because on the way so yeah some of you guys like my intro don't forget to shop my birthday sale I'm uploading this video on my birthday so you guys can specifically shop my birthday sale. So yeah, love you guys. Peace. And add me on TikTok at Noyance Life.